Hello, it is time for Emerald Eats, where we check out some of the best local places to eat. Yeah, Carly and I actually got to check out celebrity chef John Howie's restaurant. We're talking about Beardsley's Public House, and it was just some of the best food we've ever had. Let's take a look. Chef John Howie, thank you so much for having us backstage a little bit at Beardsley Public House. This My is so pleasure. cool. We are very excited <laughs> to be here. A big man. I feel like I'm looking up at you with some delicious food for us. So you're prepping two fabulous dishes, yep. relatively new. So yeah. what are you making? Well, the first one we're going to make is a beef stroganoff. And the beef stroganoff is something I did during the pandemic for the family meals out of Sea Star. People loved it so much I had to bring it to Beardsley. And so that was great. And then we're doing a quinoa cake because we've had a lot of people who are interested in vegetarian items. You're really going to love it. Oh my gosh, I cannot. Wait, let's get to cooking. Let's, let's do it. Uh, let's start out. We're going to start out with uh, a little bit of oil in this pan, and then we're going to season the meat. And what part of what makes this beef stroganoff so good is that it's filet mignon. Oh my goodness! <laughs> yep, it's not. What most, a thrill! Most, um, <laughs> most stroganoffs are made with a less expensive cut of meat because that's what it was originally created for. But, you know, you put filet in there and it's pretty darn tasty. Not with Chef John Howie here. That's right. We're going to let that get going. But as soon as that's going and searing off, we're going to add in some roasted mushrooms and onions. So we roast those. Adds a lot of flavor to them. That's a cremini mushroom and a sweet onion. So it adds a lot of great flavor. We tend to use a papadali uh, pasta, which is a much wider noodle. So it's really great. Now we're going to add in those mushrooms and those onions. Woo! Oh, oh, you got to have a little fun, right? Wow. And then we're going to hit it with the sherry and let that reduce a little bit. Wow. Sauce goes in, and the sauce is made from like a three-day veal stock. And then some sour cream, some fresh herbs. And so that is another reason why this is so special. Now, we've got this heating up over here. We're going to add in our, our butter, add in our noodles. Start tossing those around a little bit. Oh. Noodles, of course, were pre-cooked. Yeah, right. So we want this to reduce a little bit so it thickens up, so it just coats the noodles beautifully. So we'll let that sit for a few seconds. We'll get the noodles ready to go. And when we put them in the pan, we set them in there, and then we'll make Ooh, those herbs look so yummy. Yes, that's good, doesn't so it? It's so fresh and delicious. Yes. Mm. So it smells delightful. Make a little bit of a hole in the middle so that we can put the beef in there and it spreads out all over the place. Toss that for a few seconds. It'll do, when I do that, what it does is it cools down the sauce just a little bit so that it thickens up slightly. And then we just kind of mound that. Beautiful, right wow. Right into the center. Get all that good sauce out of there too. And then we're gonna garnish this dish to finish with a little bit of herb sour cream. What we've done is taken some fresh herbs Place them into the sour cream and just pop it and it's ready to be served. Beautiful. Nice. There we are. Now we can't leave my girl here hanging. <laughs> what are you going to make for her? <laughs> well, you know what? We've got some made. It's a quinoa cake and it's at the bar, ready to taste. We're ready oh to try it. We've got a fun cocktail for you too that's a oh. non alcoholic cocktail we make with our Genesense, which we make downstairs in our distillery here. What an exciting day! An amazing experience, and we are not done yet. No, not. We are gonna try this food. Those are the quinoa cakes we talked about. So good. Cheers, Cheers. Maria. I don't want to get any red pepper on okay. you. <laughs> yeah. right. While I'm making this, this is a non-alcoholic cocktail. Oh, so it's, it's made with our genesis non-alcoholic gin. And so the Genesense has all of the botanicals of a gin, but none of the alcohol. Oh, perfect. So you really get that well, fun, unique flavor. Will we expect to have it taste just like gin, right? Um, regular it's, gin? It's almost like regular gin, but you don't drink it straight because it's made to mix. And so I just added in a little jalapeno syrup, some pear, and some sour mix. So we will fill up the glasses for you. Mm -hmm. And this is our spicy pear Innocence non-alcoholic drink, and it finishes with a lovely dried pear. Oh, that's beautiful. That's adorable. I love a garnish. No. Like these are garnished so beautifully. I can't wait to have this beverage. Thank you. Oh my gosh. 
Can I grab? All right. It looks so festive. Cheers. <laughs> to you and your That was a quiet cheer. I know. Clink. Yeah. Clink. Oh, it's <laughs> well, a gentle cheer. Well, get a taste of that stroganoff, too, before we have to get out of here, because I know we're yes, moving I'm gonna along. Yes, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. This is go. the best thing oh ever. Oh, my gosh. That is so, so good. good. That, the wow. subtle gin flavor is there. Mm. It is. It's so good. Oh, my gosh. It's so gosh. fresh. I've never been happier. Well, of course, you have to eat that whole thing by yourself. Oh, yeah. darn. Oh, darn. <laughs> well, thanks for coming out to Beardsley today. We really Thank appreciate you, so you guys coming us. out and letting us show you what we do. This has been awesome. I will definitely be back, and I can vouch for these.